Dippin' Dots didn't start as ice cream, it started as cow feet. So in 1987, this guy Curtis Jones is working for a biotech company in Kentucky. He's trying to figure out how to make animal feed more efficient. So he's tinkering about and he has this idea to flash freeze cattle feed. He gets a vat of liquid nitrogen, dumps the feed in, and watches as it gets to temperatures of minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. He was amazed to find that the feed came out in small pellets. So he started to think, where else could he apply this process? Well, his passion was in making ice cream and he thought, well, hey, Ice cream's cold. So he starts dripping ice cream batter into his vat of liquid nitrogen. And he ends up with small beads of ice cream that melted with the heat of his mouth. This would be great. Ice cream of the future, he thought. But there was a problem. He couldn't sell this new ice cream dots in grocery stores. There was no way they'd be able to keep them cold enough. So Curtis pivots and markets his futuristic ice cream to amusement parks, festivals, and makes sure they can keep the Dippin' Dots on dry ice. 